A very good morning to you. How are you doing and welcome to Leaving Up. This is Health and Wellness Monday. And yes, this is the last part of the Back to Nature and finding Back to Nature movement and finding out more about them. And today we're focusing on something very, very interesting. So imagine if you went all out and said to live a healthy life without knowing the purpose. Why are you doing it? Is it benefiting you? What are the things around you? How are they helping you become a better person? So we're here to talk to Coach V. That's what they call her here. She's Virginia and she's a success coach. And she'll be telling us about getting your head right and getting your head into the game. So let's see. Hi, darling. You look lovely. Oh, hi. You it's a red beautiful. thing. A red, red thing. Karibu. Karibu sana. Ah, perfect. We've been this doing is, this for a while. You know? <laughs> <laughs> this is our home. Yeah. So Karibu sana. I know you have been visiting us a few times. Yes. So welcome. Welcome again. Great. And mm -hmm. you know, one of the very important things to note is imagine someone going through a fast mm -hmm. and then uh, they're trying to get their um their bodies into a better state than they were in before yeah. and after that they just go back to all the things that they left behind yeah. that means there's a bigger problem apart from that mm. apart from probably having that high blood pressure or having that diabetes that means there's something that is off yes. and that's where you come in exactly <laughs> yeah that's exactly right so okay. you we, we look at a human being as a holistic or a complex being mm -hmm. so it's not just about getting your physical body detoxified or cleansed mm -hmm. it's also we need to cleanse this part of the of the body as well because as you're saying mm -hmm. there's many people who will go through this do the juices for 14 days, seven days, 28, days, 28 days, 100 days. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. And after all that, they'll just go back to their normal life the way it used to be before. So mm -hmm. they just undo everything they just did in that few days. Absolutely. And this yeah. being a holistic center, I'm sure mm -hmm. you also take time to focus on making them better in those other um, perspectives of their lives. Yes. How do you go about that? What are some of the things that you put in together mm -hmm. to make sure that they're holistic? Okay, so what we look at is we're not just looking at the health of a human being as in the, the body, like what's going on with the body, mm -hmm. but we're looking at a human being as what is the health of their relationships? What is the health of their finances? Mm -hmm. What is the health of their emotions? their spirituality, mm -hmm. you know, those kind of things. So we want to bring all those different aspects, even their careers. You know how many people are struggling in careers True. that they don't like? Yeah. They wake up in the morning and they're thinking, oh man. Not again. Not again. Yeah. And then you hear about the Monday blues, yeah? Yes. So <laughs> there are some people who have Tuesday blues, Wednesday blues, Thursday blues, all blues, yeah? So it's about looking at that human being and looking at how can you improve their health in all these different aspects of their lives. How do you go about that? Say, for example, we'll, we'll just pick one. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about relationships because they're everywhere. Yeah. At home, at work, at church. Yes. Even with a family, boyfriend, yeah. girlfriend, marriage. Absolutely. So let's look at relationships. How do you go about, you know, making or empowering them yeah. to get the best they can from the best relationships? Relationship. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Um, so a lot of us tend to um, outsource a lot of things, including um, the responsibility that we have in our relationships. So in, during the coaching session, it's really about getting you first grounded in who you are, in your being, in your... That's the why coming. That's where the why comes in. Exactly. Yeah. And, and yeah, exactly. So as you're grounding yourself, it's where you're connecting with your why, with your purpose, with your mission statement, with your vision of who you want to be, who's your best you. Yeah. So coming from that space, then looking at, okay, now I'm happy, I'm content, I'm complete, I'm whole, complete and perfect, just the way I am. How do I, that, does that translate to how I relate to other people? So mm. I now have more responsibility. Instead of blaming others, yeah. I'll take more responsibility in my relationships with my colleagues, with my family, with mm. my, you know, my, say your boyfriend or, or girlfriend, whatever the case is. And uh, coming from that space now, it's, it's a lot more, um, Peaceful. You end up with in peaceful True. relationships, yeah. right? Yeah. That's very important because you cannot be relating with people if you are not at peace with yourself. Absolutely and not. And you know the funnier thing is, a lot of people when they hear the word relationship, mm -hmm. the first thing they think is, oh, that other person. Yeah. Oh. So okay. me relating to other people. Yeah. They don't think about relating to themselves. Lord, we always run away from that. Exactly. Like, what do I have to do with myself, <laughs> exactly. you know? Well, it's very important to note that relationships start with you. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Like they say, you cannot uh, give something that you don't have. Exactly. So it's like the big matter of love. Like if you don't have love in yourself, what are you giving other people? Exactly. So it starts with you. What yeah. do you have in heart? So start relating with yourself. Be at peace. Be complete. And this brings, I, I don't know, a few people looking for relationships to complete them, mm. which is very, very wrong. You need to be mm -hmm. a complete entity. Yeah. Looking for another complete entity to become one, which is very important. Absolutely. So we're talking about relationships mm -hmm. and the positive energy that you need to garner from that, which starts from self. Yeah. It's about finances. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to talk about careers. <laughs> Let's talk sure, about finances. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so with finances, again, you can't be healthy on the physical form, yeah? When your bank account is crying out loud. It's true. It's crying like you, you always have month yes. at the end of the money. Oh, you know, yeah. there's <laughs> I like that. Month right? at the end of the money. Exactly. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So it's about looking at how can we now improve your uh, finances? Because yeah. a lot of us, again, it's all happening up here where we are blocking ourselves. We are stopping ourselves from achieving the things that we want to achieve. A lot of my clients that I have, I have had uh, conversations with, when we really go into why are you having financial struggles, mm -hmm. some of them is just laziness. They just don't want to do something else you know or they they get in their comfort zone mm -hmm. of like let's say like they're in a the job mm -hmm. they're comfortable yeah. there is security in the job yeah why would i want to go and try something else why would i want to go and get another job why would i want to go and you know like stretch myself a bit to make some extra money it's just sometimes it's just laziness sometimes it's just that you are not organized so mm -hmm. how can we get you organized so that you're able to look for other things that you can do to raise an income yeah because at the end of the day, um, it's going to be very difficult for you to actually retire on a salary. Yeah. That's unfortunately, it's, yeah. it's going to it's be very, very difficult. You would have yeah. to be like a CEO of some really huge company for you to be able to retire on that, you know. So a lot of people are also misinformed mm -hmm. and they are unaware of um, what happens at the end of a career. So you end up at the end of a career, you're expecting that this pension was supposed to save you. Yeah. Pension ends in two years yeah. and you're left with, oh my God, nothing. I have nothing. True. So now I have to start from the beginning and start looking for wow. ways of making money from that point forward, you know? So it's, it's about looking at that um, scenario, whatever scenario they are in in their lives and identifying other things that they could be doing. And on top of that, it still comes back to that relationship with self because maybe they're just not confident enough. True. So it's about now getting to them to a point where they are like, okay, I can actually do this. Yeah. I am good enough mm -hmm. and I can actually take one more step. I can do this other thing. I can't, you know? So they yeah. start having this I can attitude more than, oh man, I can't. Maybe, no. Maybe, uh, well, can I really? Mm. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. If you're just tuning in and you're wondering, Quinny, to mend a relationship Wednesday, no. We've been doing a couple of series on Back to Nature. It's a community, rather, that actually does juicing or gets people to be aware and take them back to nature. It could be in terms of food, understanding your environment, just being at peace with who you were because your nature your nature yeah so understanding who you are so we are looking we've been looking at the different ways that juicing could help your life in terms of uh, having conditions uh, lifestyle diseases so they were looking at the holistic you know aspect of it how you get your mind in tune with what you put in your mouth which is very Absolutely. very interesting yeah. so career mm -hmm. let's talk about relationships yeah. and how effective they are in terms of me living a healthy and uh, full life yeah Talked about finances. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at a career, and you mentioned Ali. You could be in a career that is not working for you. Yes. You have a Monday blues every other day of the week. So yes. Friday blues as well. Yeah. Well, everybody's <laughs> excited about Friday. You're not. You're like, yeah. Yeah. So how do you change that mindset? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm already not happy. Mm -hmm. But how do I go about changing that mm -hmm. so that I live a healthier and fuller life? Okay. So with the uh, uh, careers again, coming from what's your relationship with yourself? Okay. Everything starts there. Because wow. a lot of people don't want to leave their career because they're thinking, okay, if I leave, mm -hmm. am I going to get the security that I get in this job over there? Oh. Am I going to get the money that I get over here in that other job? Am I going to get, you know, so it's all about that security of being in that job, you know? You know what the what job stands for? The J-O-B. What does it stand for? Just over broke. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, I don't so, feel so good about myself. Thank God I love my job, but what? Okay. Yeah, so it's like you're just over broke. You're just over broke. So it's 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 a security of being just over broke. Yeah. 
<laughs> the moment people, you know, being out there as an entrepreneur, it's not an easy thing to do. And not everyone was created to be an entrepreneur. And True. that's fine. That's yeah. okay. You know, some of us need to keep jobs in order for the entrepreneurs to employ us. Yeah. You know? And that's fine. Um, so it's really about identifying, really looking at what is your purpose? Mm -hmm. What do you believe to be your purpose here on earth? And are you going to achieve that purpose by being in your job? And if it's not that, then how can we change that or shift something so that you're actually living your purpose mm -hmm. and making money in the kind of work that you really enjoy doing? So it could still be a job. Yes. It really could still be a job. But I yeah. see a lot of the, um, the anxiety and unhappiness in jobs is because you're living a completely purposeless life and you're hoping that this job will save you. Uh... But instead, it just ends up bogging you down, and making you making, even more unhappy. Making and someone else's dream come true, actually. <laughs> exactly. And then you're bogging everybody else in the company true. down as well with yeah. your unhappiness, you know? Yeah. So it's really about how can we um, connect you to your purpose mm -hmm. and then get you to experience your purpose wherever you are. Yeah. Something very interesting that comes to mind when you talk about the careers and myself and the finance and the relationship and how it comes back to me mm -hmm. is even how we introduce ourselves. Mm -hmm. So instead of introducing yourself as who you are, then you start saying I'm a manager. <laughs> yeah, yeah your job title. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I am I'm a manager. Yeah. I uh, I'm a you know finance manager. Kwanzo Neka. Exactly. Actually, when when I introduce myself, I'll say, "Hi, I'm Virginia, mm -hmm. and I work as a life coach, or I work as a success coach." Uh, you I am not. not the success coach. Yes. You know that is not my being. So the, that's the job that I do. So I, I totally get that. I have met so many people who are like, yeah, so I am, I am head of marketing. I am, you know, they want you to really, but it's a status thing. It's True. a status thing. <laughs> now you know, next time you meet anyone and you want to introduce yourself, remember, you're not that thing. You, you're Mukali, or you, you're Jane, or you know, Virginia. Yeah. How do we relate? Mm -hmm. uh, all these things that we're talking about mm -hmm. with back to nature and yeah. juicing for a healthier and uh, you know better life yeah okay so it's as you know the back to nature mission is to um, encourage and motivate people to adopt a more natural mm -hmm. holistic mm -hmm. lifestyle approach towards regaining health or maintaining their health if they haven't lost it yeah, yeah. so it's really about that holistic part of the mission statement yeah to get people to really understand who they are as an individual and then how do that does that translate out there in the world by the time you are completely when you're done with that juicing challenge you're ready you're ready to experience life at its fullest so here comes the life coach who's now or the success coach who's now going to look at okay let's look at all the other areas of your life yeah. what can we transform you have just transformed your physical being yeah. your health yeah? yeah so how can we transform these other areas of your life We've talked about the connection between juicing and uh, how important it is to understand myself as a person yeah. and why I'm doing it and uh, how the things around me matter mm -hmm. for me to live a better life. Mm -hmm. But what about the follow-up? So I go through the classes, yeah. I'd go through the juice first. Yeah. After that, do you have follow-ups? Just find out who is student on Endale Aji? Yes, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So actually the way we've been, we're doing it is we have a juicing challenge every quarter okay so we started in january mm -hmm. so the next one is in april mm -hmm. and then the next one happens in july and then october mm -hmm. yeah so every quarter we have a, a juicing challenge in between the quarters we have a 10-week life mastery program yeah so that's where now we go and tackle different aspects of um, a human being's life mm -hmm. so like right now we've just we're about to get to the end of um, the first 10-week program where we're looking at all areas of life really but it's more about how do you achieve the things you want to achieve mm -hmm. and do it easily yeah because a lot of us believe that um, life is hard you've had that many people say, even, when you're, even when you're doing okay 
So like, right, how are you exactly. doing, V? Nangangana. 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 Exactly. And even that, in itself, that language is what actually gets you to Nangangana. Oh. Yeah, so it's also about looking at that language, the way we speak, the way we, as you're saying, the way we introduce ourselves, yeah. the way we respond to a hello. Yeah. You know, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah. You know, things like that. So yeah. anyway, we're almost done with the 10 weeks now. We're actually in week eight now. Mm -hmm. And then after the April um, juicing challenge, which is going to be 14 days, we'll have another 10 week program, which is now a relationship one. So it's about relationship mastery. Nice. And then going forward, the one that comes after that is about um, careers. And then we finish off the year with the last quarter doing finances. Great. Yeah. So this is not a one off. I wouldn't decide to just no. come in for the April one and then go missing. <laughs> no, 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 no. You see, that's the thing. It's a lifestyle. It's true. You want to adopt it like it's going to be the thing that you do every single time. It's, yeah. This is your life. It's true. You know? Yeah, so that's, that's what it, the intention is. It's up to you what you decide to do with it. Yeah, so exactly. exactly. <laughs> if you're going to walk the path, yeah. good for you. Yeah. Relapses. You know, mm -hmm. the one you tolea, una fanya. And then you go home, there's yeah. like a chicken over there. <laughs> yeah, you went to the meal, you know, they've and ordered. Like, yeah. So what do you do about the relapses? So if, if I fall off the wagon, yeah. is that it for me or can I just get back on? So while you're juicing? Yes. Um, yes, as in if you fall off the wagon, it's not, you know, it's a, it's called a challenge for a reason. Okay, it's called sure. a juicing challenge because it's going to be it's challenging. Not it's not easy, yeah? <laughs> so there might be times when you will fall off the wagon mm -hmm. and that's okay. Don't beat yourself up about it. It's, it's okay. Just get back on the wagon, okay. yeah? Or maybe just start walking, leave the wagon alone. <laughs> <laughs> Crawl yes. if you may. <laughs> Crawl if you must. Yeah, you know? You know. But yeah, just get back on, start again, do it. Like, it, it's never that serious. You know, True. it's supposed to be, it, it's, the whole intention is that this is supposed to be a lifestyle. True. Let's not make it more difficult than it actually is. You yeah. know, it's, um, when you start beating yourself, now the mindset starts shifting because something gets locked into your, your thought process, your feelings and all that stuff. And then that starts affecting what happens even after you get back on the wagon, mm -hmm. you know. So don't beat yourself about it. Get back on, get your support groups because we also have our support groups that um, will, you know, hold your hand as you're going through the juicing challenge and will always be there to hold you, to catch you when you fall and, you know, dust you off. Let's keep going. Let's so keep going. encouraging people. <laughs> have you ever found yourself in a situation where you're off the wagon or probably you, you just want to do something and healthy yeah. just for V? Absolutely. Uh -huh. Man, you put a tiramisu in front of me and you'll No see. way. <laughs> Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I mean, I'm still human, even just if I'm checking. <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. Yeah, so, I mean, but not during, I mean, during the juicing challenges, I'm usually very like, uh, focused, mm -hmm. you know, so because I'm going through a lot of um, cleanses, not just in the juicing, mm -hmm. but also in my mindset. Yes, yeah, so I do a lot of quiet time, a lot of meditation and prayer. Uh, so I have, it's like I coat myself in this bubble. Great. This bubble of wellness. So for me, it's um, if you bring that tiramisu in front of me, it will smell good. I will want it. But, but that's it. That's it. <laughs> then I'll grab my juice and drink. <laughs> That's the other thing. Always have your juice handy. Yeah. Because the moment the food is pr is put in front of you, oh, uh, trust me. No, you just want to dig in, and there's no way everyone is eating yeah. it just there. Exactly. <laughs> but you know, you know, there was a time um, I was juicing. Mm -hmm. I think I was like on day twenty something mm -hmm. of my juicing challenge, and then um, a friend of mine invited me because they had just come over from um, the UK. Mm -hmm. So we went to. <laughs> You'd never want to know. Never, I hope this never happens to you. <laughs> but we ended up at Fogo Gaucho. No! And I'm Bottomless! Juicing. Yes. Eat all you can! Yes. Lord, exactly. what did you do? I drank my juice. <laughs> boring. Okay, well, not boring. <laughs> I drank my juice. All that meat. Well, the good thing is... Let's just assume you're not a meat person, no? Yes, exactly. <laughs> let's, let's even start there. Like, by that point, I had already made a decision to go vegetarian. Okay. Um, so I had not... I was... I could smell it and I'm like, oh, you know, I mean, choosing to be vegetarian is not easy in Kenya. Yeah. You know, because um, a lot of places you go to, chances are that what they call vegetarian, man, is the most boring meal you will ever come across. Most people say vegetarian is boring. It's not? No, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Man, you should come, I'll make you some raw vegan vegetarian. At the key. Some raw vegan food <laughs> and you will see how, yes, you'll feel like you're eating meat. What? Yeah. 
I'll it's take you up on that. I'll take absolutely. you up on that. You know, the one thing that you kept mentioning this whole time we've had this, we've walked a long distance, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, is that um, mind is important. It's, it's very key in yeah. all of this. Yeah. And just before we get to me preparing my mind, before getting into the juicing um, movement or back to nature, maybe you could just sit somewhere. My heels are killing me. Absolutely. <laughs> sure, for sure. My heels, yeah. Sorry, my heels are killing me. Beautiful place. We're talking about how powerful the mind is and how I need it throughout the challenge to understand why I'm doing all of this and stuff like that and my relationships and my finances, mm -hmm. all these different aspects around me. Mm -hmm. Before I joined the challenge, mm -hmm. I've had this from Patrick, I've had this from Grace, from Kunga as well. Yeah. You need to be prepared psychologically and that's yeah. why he gives guidelines and uh, a starter pack and all of that. Mm -hmm. How important is that? very important mm -hmm. it's so important it's like you don't go on a journey without packing your bags first it's true right so you need to have at least packed your bags so you don't go to the farm not having carried your gem and you go back for your gem mm -hmm. right so it's the preparation is so important because even as you're for a lot of people who are starting they don't even know what kind of produce they should be juicing because like say for example um, I have a friend of mine who the other day sends me a, a pic of what he was just about to juice and he had mangoes and grapes and you know and watermelon you know everything and then he had carrots in, and the moment I saw it I just went wow, wow. you are not ready so oh, yeah. first of all he has way too much fruit in his in his picture yes secondly he's juicing mangoes you can't juice mangoes you have to blend you mangoes. You have to blend mangoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> exactly. There's, there's a difference. There's, there's a, there's a difference. Like, huge difference yes. blending and uh, juicing. Yes, exactly. So it's, that preparation time is so important, not just with what you're buying, whether you have the right equipment and all that stuff, but also your mindset. Because if you walk into it thinking, yeah, I'll just do this thing, yeah, you will fall off the wagon. It's almost a given because you have not prepared yourself. You are not, unless you're one of those eight type personalities. Like if I woke up tomorrow and decided I'm going to start juicing now, I will juice for oh. as long as I want to juice. Okay. Yeah. So once I have set my mind, I'm like, I'm doing seven days, I'll go for it. Yeah. But for majority of people, that's not the way it works. Mm -hmm. You will say, okay, I want to start juicing. Let me start next week, you know? Yeah, can it's I always start, like, can I start like, can I start like... Not Monday, can I start on a Friday? Yeah, because for, for <laughs> a lot of people, it, it's like a punishment. <laughs> you know? Juicing is like a punishment. <laughs> but it's not meant to be a punishment, yeah? yeah? If, you, if you set your mind that um, when, you, when you even think, you have like that mental picture of how beautiful the insides of your body will look like. You know, like the way a lot of women we are so about our skin. Oh Lord. Now yeah, you can exfoliate. imagine. Exactly. <laughs> now you can imagine that happening on the inside. Uh -huh. You know? Start thinking about that cleanse happening on the inside. Mm -hmm. You coming sparkling clean. You know, you're becoming sparkling clean on the inside. Yeah. Then you're you're more prepared. And on top of that, even as part of the Back to Nature movement, with our support systems, we're always about how are you going to prepare these, these people who are just starting, even the mm. veterans, some of them will not be able to do this on a whim just like that. Yeah. yeah. So it's still about um, set, giving the right um, mental picture, the conversations that are going on in your mind. It's more about, yes, you can, you can create this, you can do this, you know, so it's, it's really important. So you as Virginia, you, you help people walk this journey, mm -hmm. but how, um, how, how have you experienced it as a person? What's that big milestone that you have accomplished as a person? Through the juicing plus everything else? Plus everything else. Man, where to begin? <laughs> have you heard of the Back to Nature movement? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I have. So I'm actually a co-founder of the Back to Nature movement. Mm -hmm. The things that we have been able to achieve in the short period of time that we have been working on this movement is profound mm -hmm. it's huge for me it's massive going through the juicing challenge has been a real uh, mindset trick yeah because when i started doing it um i did it for 30 days um by myself without kunga oh. and 
it was it was just uh, that time i was so focused i was so ready i was good i was good to go you know fast forward i have done my 30 days i'm feeling fantastic and i'm looking forward to this great meal that i'm going to eat at the end of the of the juicing cleanse uh -huh. and i'm like fantastic the food came and it was delicious and i was like ah oh, now at least i don't have to juice again for another three months <laughs> yes two months later the november Challenge. juicing challenge happened so i'd only been not juicing for less than two months actually mm -hmm. and the next thing i know v do the 28 day with us I was like, oh my goodness so 28 days juiced again the first three days of the 28 days was a huge challenge for me okay. i struggled because i wasn't ready for it it was like i i had I done you my were one doing day. it because you were told to do it like Okay, it was, me, and it was just more to support. You. It was to support other yes. people. Yeah, it wasn't for me anymore. <laughs> no. It was for other people. Yeah. yeah. So for me, it was just like, man, this is just hard. <laughs> Why am I doing this? And these guys are actually going to probably fall off the wagon anyway. <laughs> oh man, I had a whole conversation with <laughs> our team, and I'm like, I yeah. don't want to do this anymore. I'm too tired. I cannot do this for another 28 days. So it was, it was a mind trick. For me, you know, it yeah. was getting myself centered again and to do completing this. the 28 days. But you definitely look amazing from it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> and you. probably final word, you know, encouragement and mm -hmm. again, how people can join the Back to Nature movement. Mm -hmm. Looking into this camera. Sure. So if you want to get healthier, going back to nature is one of the most holistic, beautiful, natural ways you can do that. Um, and juicing is not, it's not difficult. It's actually really, really easy. You just have to take the steps that we, um, we will guide you on. We will give you the steps that you need to take. And then, you know, it's all about just joining our movement. Um, give us a call um, or, you know, visit us on our, our website, backtonature.co.ke yeah. or call us on 0799-214-714 and we'll get you in touch with the people that you need to get in touch with and we'll get you ready for the juicing challenge. And after that, what happens after that True. is the important thing, yeah. the lifestyle, mm -hmm. converting that into a lifestyle. Great. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> no and worries. I'm in on the next challenge. Fantastic. Yeah, I will fall off and get back on. Please. You say crawl if I must. Crawl if you must. So I'll be crawling all the way <laughs> to the next challenge. This has been amazing. We've been focusing on making you a better and healthier person holistically and not just physically, but from your mind, like V said, head to toe. And I hope you're ready to take on that challenge and be a better person or be a better version of yourself. This has been Leaving Up. Remember to keep this conversation going on on KTN Life and Style on Facebook. KTN Life and Style, Life underscore Style on Twitter and Instagram, SMS 22840. Kwaheri, don't go too far. We'll be right back with Brian Suba on Beyond the Sports. I consider myself a sports lady in the caliber of other sportsmen like David Rudisha, like uh, Colin Tungera, like Julia Siego. I consider myself in the same uh, caliber as them. Okay.